It's hard to pick a to-do list app. It really is. And that's why I'm here to help you pick out some of the top five to-do list apps that you can try this year. First and foremost, for those of you that are on Apple devices, I would actually recommend that you try out Reminders. This may be of a surprise to you. However, the Reminders app has seen some massive improvements in the last few years. I remember when I used it very sparingly just with my iPhone, I find that it was actually pretty good, but we've seen that there are a lot of improvements in this application. For example, by simply pressing Command N, I can create a new reminder and say, take out the trash tomorrow at 5 p.m. And it does have natural language processing that's very similar to other tools. Now I also have the ability to put tags for things like housekeeping. And in a moment, by pressing enter, you'll notice that this tag is attached to it. I have the time that it's supposed to be at, and it's scheduled immediately within here. And this is a pretty nice natural layout of the different ways that you can kind of look at all the different reminders that I've had. So as you can see, when I press show, it showed the previously completed. I used this app a lot back in the day. Man, I used to yell at myself to take my vitamins. Throwback. And inside of your inbox, you can quickly take any of these reminders that you have and move them into various lists. For example, we obviously have my reminders here and my to-dos here. And we can mark these to have various levels of priority and even take notes inside of them too. I like the fact that inside of a reminder, I can be reminded on a day, at a time, at a location, or when messaging a person. All of these things when it comes to the iOS devices that you have is gonna be a big level up in comparison to just using a to-do list app that doesn't have that capability. On your go or on the computer, the Reminders app is a great choice for you if you're looking for a great to-do list app if you are in the Apple ecosystem. Now next is my personal favorite for people who are stuck in the Microsoft ecosystem. As somebody who used to work at a high trust certified, just like sort of a HIPAA adjacent thing, business, there is only so many different tools that you can use. And the majority of the time, you're going to be in the Microsoft ecosystem. I believe there's a reason that my most popular video is my Microsoft to do plus Outlook plus OneNote workflow, because uh, this right here is a tool that allows you to connect your Outlook emails, put them into tasks, and even share them with other people. If we take a look at Microsoft to do, you'll notice that there are a couple different views that are pretty great. I used this at work for a while and I really enjoyed it. There's a my day view, which is awesome. There is a planned date view, which showcases either everything planned, what's overdue, today, tomorrow, this week, and later. And you can change how this is sorted and group by either list or due date. You also have the ability to showcase completed tasks or not in all of these different views. And what one of my favorite things is, is that you actually can separate these tasks into different lists similar to what you can with other items. So for me, I, at my old job, just put all of the different tasks that I wanted into different recurring lists and then had them in this little subfolder right here, which are called groups. And these groups can essentially allow you to organize your tasks in so many different ways. They're great for taking a look at what tasks you have to recur on what day and then planning out your weeks like that. And the quick capture on this is not as good as a lot of the other tools. And I'd say the UI UX isn't the prettiest, but if you're stuck in this ecosystem, the functionality is very much there. And don't forget, you can share a list with your teammates who are also stuck in this system. So they work really well with other people. Next on the list is going to be Asana. Now, if you press Command K, this is the first functionality where it actually has like a command bar here. And I'm gonna recommend Asana for people who are non-Outlook stuck users, but still are basically using their task management for business. Asana has a myriad of different things like workflows and templates, and it has a much broader choice of views, like not just list, but board, calendar, and even having some files within here as well. The comment functionality inside of Asana is pretty good. I experienced it at work for me, and I thought that it actually did pretty well. And the ability to sort through your different projects that you can create and share that with different team members, having collaborators and a much higher level of customization, including adding different priorities, is pretty great. As you can see, I made a very basic GTD setup that I talked about in a previous video. You wanna go check that out. But not only that, we also 
at higher level. Plans have the ability to take a look at analytics and see tasks that are completed by different team members. And this is one of the main reasons that I recommend this for businesses that aren't just stuck with Outlook. It's because you have a lot of built-in reporting and portfolios to kind of take a look at the different aspects of Asana's business plans. I would recommend you check it out. You don't need the highest level of plans and for free, this is still one of the better plans for having a small team as you have basic integrations and you have unlimited tasks and projects on a pretty cheap plan. You get some more views like Timeline and Gantt, as well as some automated workflows once you level up to 1099. But overall, I think this is a great product and I recommend that you check it out and some of my old tutorials if you're interested. Now, for the most versatile app of all that I'm gonna talk about in this video, it's gonna be TickTick. TickTick is a great application. For me, I have messed around with it a little bit before. It was the first ever productivity app that I ever stumbled upon in my experience. And it has everything. It has tasks, it has notes, it has natural language processing, and it even goes as far as to have habit tracking and a built-in Pomodoro timer that really levels up your productivity. Not only that, but just going into the settings here, you can see that there are so many different things you can do. You can add an Eisenhower matrix and even interact with your tasks like this, which you really don't see a lot of times built into the apps. You seem to have to do that just on your own and or using tools like Notion where you can like build out the setup. So this is pretty cool as well. And inside of here, you also are able to put different tasks into a calendar and time block your day rather than just interacting with it on like a list view or even a calendar view that doesn't have time associated to it, right? Like we can change the amount of days here and time block an entire work schedule out inside of this. And you can go to the top right here and you can actually show different calendars within here if you'd like. Now this is a premium option, but I will say that it's pretty cool that you're able to see my calendar within here and you can put down your own tasks within this too in order to make it sort of a time blocking situation. But uh, you don't really see this in many to-do list apps, so props to them for having this. And at the price. The price of the premium plan is ridiculously cheap. I haven't really talked about pricing for most of these because it hasn't mattered for the first few because those were free and Asana we went through, but $3, less than $3 a month for the premium plan on this. Let's not act like this isn't one of the cheaper apps you'll find out there. And for free, you pretty much get everything I said except for this calendar view. Now, last but not least, what I think is the best overall application, well, it's not as versatile as TickTick in some ways. I think Todoist is the best option out here. For example, I use it to track my little habits every day and sort of daily tasks. And I love all of this. I love the command bar where you can quickly create tasks and check out this, we not only have personal tasks and projects, but we also have projects for different teams in workspaces that they added recently. They did create a calendar view, which I'm very grateful for in the last few months. And there also is the ability to utilize filters that have these same calendar, list, or board view as well. The pro version is what I use, and you don't actually have to use that, but I find it pretty useful overall. You just get more projects and the ability to interact with it in a more deep level. At a pro level, you get many, many more personal projects, a better calendar layout, the ability to have an excessive amount of filter views, an AI assistant, and unlimited activity history. You're kind of stuck with about one week of activity history on the beginner plan, but I do still think this is a great option for many people. It's slightly more expensive than TickTick, and the business plan does exist too, where you can have a lot of different shared team workspaces and just a better setup for small teams to get tasks collaborated on. The description in here is pretty solid and there is a commenting system that I think is fine. Also, there are a myriad of different extensions that you can have inside of Todoist, like the AI Assistant and much more. And there is a solid Google Calendar integration that people do tend to enjoy as well. And I know I've recommended this tool to many people and most of the time they end up sticking with it if they've never really heard of a to-do list app before and some of them have even upgraded to the pro version. Like I'd recommend this to pretty much anybody who's looking to just get basic organized. I'd say, hey, use Todoist with Google Calendar. You'll probably have a great time. Or Todoist with Morgan, which is probably the best option of those things, but that's another conversation for another day. 
If you like this video and want to learn more about different to-do list apps, I would definitely recommend you check out my channel. I cover all these different tools and I also review why I think they're great and what different ways you can use them with specific workflows on my channel. With that being said, thanks for watching. I will see videos and you will see you in videos like this one on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.